Good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome to Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. <coughs> Sorry about that. Today we find ourselves at a remote coastal beach safe house, and we're here for a couple of reasons. First and foremost is to search the property for a lead on the shadow client. Our second and far more interesting objective is to eliminate our Maraynard. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get crack a We'll kick things off by tweaking this piece of artwork to open a secret door into Alma's safe room, where we'll immediately destroy the evidence and then pick up the nearby password dongle. Nicely done, 47. Now we'll head downstairs into the garage, pick up the lead pipe that's lying next to a couple of corpses, enter the living room, and then head back upstairs into the office, where we'll hack into Alma's computer. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, oh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Okay. So now that everyone's home, it's time to thin out Alma security detail a little bit. So let's get it done. Don't you worry about me, boys. You just... What the Fuck's sake. Sir, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be anywhere near here! Yeah, I'm sorry about that, boys. You see, the thing is... You weren't actually supposed to know that I was here. As I said previously, boys, you just go on ahead and I'll be totally Okay, so I think we're good this time. No one's noticed that we've KO'd that first guy, so we'll start to place our focus on these two blokes. A few moments later... Hang on a second. Oh, you're fucking joking. Asshole! Get fucked, cunt. Okay. Third time's the charm. This time, we'll forgo the steel pipe in favour of the tranquilizer pistol. Alright, boys, off you go. I'm just gonna hang back here a bit and have myself a door. Well... Ah, God damn it! I think I just got stung by a bee. Okay, so now let's grab this guy's shoddy so that the last patrolling mercenary doesn't see it and then dump him as well as the previous bloke into the straw container inside. Right. So now let's position ourselves against this indoor balcony and look down on Alma as she threatens some poor cunt called Mr. Donovan. All the while her loving boyfriend Orson prepares her a lovely cup of tea. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. She's basically saying that she's going to kill this guy's family unless he does what she tells him. So let's have a listen in and see what that something is, shall we? You will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? How the fuck is he supposed to know, Alma? You haven't given him any indication as to what you feel like. Fucking hell! What's the bet the poor cunt gets it wrong? Oh, <laughs> 
See? How the bloody hell was Austin supposed to know you didn't want lethal poison in your tea? Maybe next time you'll be a bit more clear as to what you fucking want! I tell you what, Orson, my friend, have another go. I know that she's not being very forthcoming in telling you what she actually feels like, but you know what? I'm sure that you can't get it wrong twice in a row. Ugh. Unbelievable. Ugh. God, I need to get to the bathroom. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, I find the- Oh, God. A few moments later. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. How's that for some fucking toilet humor? Just as a quick side note, there also happens to be a bottle of vodka that the game gives you the alluring option of poisoning as well as Alma's tea. So naturally, I fucking did this, but guess what? It doesn't kill Alma. Hell yeah, I'm about to get lit. It kills fucking Orson. Shame on you, game. Shame on you. Okay. So far, we've had a look at a couple of ways that we can off Alma while she's hanging downstairs. However, if we were to let her drink her tea without killing her, eventually both her and Orson will head upstairs for the evening and prepare to get into bed. I suppose that you could say that they follow a pretty standard bedtime routine, starting with getting changed into their sleepwear and then heading into the bathroom to freshen up a bit before bed. Alma brushes her teeth, while Orson has himself a nice, warm shower. A shower that just so happens to fog up the glass shower screen, as well as the bathroom mirror, giving us the perfect window of opportunity to take Alma by surprise and eliminate her without Orson noticing. So! Target down. Target down. Target down. Target down. Target down. Well done, 47. Target down. Target down. Target down. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Hey, Alma. I think we're out of soap. Looks like you won't be needing that anymore, mate. Oh, before we move on, Here's some totally useless but kind of interesting information for some of you that may not know. If Agent 47 stands on the bathroom scale, he weighs in at a whopping 47 kilos. Jeez 47, put down the fork mate! After they're done with their bathroom routine, the couple make their way into the bedroom to prepare to turn in for the night. Before they hit the hay, Orson does a few sit-ups and has himself a sneaky glass of scotch and Alma ducks outside onto the balcony for a cheeky cigarette. Naturally, there are several ways that we can capitalize on this sequence of events. For instance, we can poison Orson's whiskey for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Ain't nothing quite like the warm, creamy taste of 11-year-old single malt American e Okay, so we're obviously not going to be doing that. Instead, we'll be focusing our attention on his missus, who, as aforementioned, is outside on the balcony having herself a dozza. The first thing we can do in this situation is pretty simple. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. We can just throw the bitch over the balcony! Hey, Alma? I think we're out of salt. <laughs> The second way that we can deal with Alma involves carefully placing a propane tank on the balcony right where she'll light up her cigarette and then triggering a gas leak. Then, all that we need to do is wait for her to head outside, put her cigarette in her mouth, and she'll blow herself sky fucking high! Yeah! Okay, so Orson's done his sit-ups, had his scotch, and the couple have shared a romantic durry on the balcony outside. Now, it's finally time for the pair to pop into bed for a good night's sleep. 
I'm sure that they've both had themselves a big day and are ready to close their eyes, recharge their batteries, and see what tomorrow brings. NOTHING! Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Another way that we could eliminate Alma while she sleeps is to carefully sneak up to the bed, plant an explosive device, get to a safe distance, and blow those motherfuckers! Score! Fucking boy! Yeah! Remember that secret room that we accessed at the beginning of the mission by tilting the artwork on the wall? You know, the one we're standing in right now? Well, it just so happens to be Alma's safe room, the place that she and Orson flee to and barricade themselves in in the event of a target lockdown. Naturally, being a safe room, the whole point of it is to keep them safe. But unfortunately for them, we're about to show them just how unsafe this supposed safe room actually is. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is whip everyone into a panic and trigger a target lockdown. Don't you worry your pretty little self at all, Miss Reynard. If I see anything out of the ordinary, I'll be sure to- <laughs> Sup, cunts! How are we this evening? Terrified for your safety? Of course you are. Anyway, best head into that safe room. God only knows what I'm capable of. Once the couple are not so safely locked away in the panic room, we'll head on up to the rooftop and poison the room's ventilation system. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Alternatively... Oh God! I need help! Anyone! Right! Foster! Anyone! Relax, Alma. Everything's going to be fine. As long as we stay in this room, there's no way that he can touch us. What's that? Well done, 47. Now get off the property. A couple of high profile kills such as these won't get us a silent assassin ranking, but they're always fun nonetheless. Speaking of high profile, there's one last method that we're gonna cover before we wrap up today's video. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to see it to believe it. The first thing we need to do is incapacitate every mercenary on the property. So let's go ahead and do that. Lethally, of course. A few moments later. Right, now that's done. It's time to drop into the panic room and say hello to Miss Reynard. G'day, guys. Fancy seeing you in here. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. The old finger slipped on the trigger. Hey, where do you think you're going? Are you trying to find help? Is that what you're doing? Because you're not gonna find anyone. They're all dead, mate. Seriously, stop running. There really isn't any point. You're only making yourself tired. Dead tired. What the bloody hell are you doing now? <laughs> Take it down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Alright, alright, I'm going! Jeez! 